Hey, welcome to the vlog. It's 2.16 p.m. here on the uh, 26th already of January. And we're in the Focus headed down to the castle. So this makes two days in a row with random ass vlog starting locations. Here in the Jasco Express, we have arrived at the castle and it looks like absolute crap. It looks so much better in the summer. Hi! Hi, Schultz! There's like no one there. Don't they have like a workout place too? <laughs> There's some nice houses back here. This is right on the lake too. I don't know what the lake's called, but it's lake. And uh, it's probably it's very expensive lake to live Forest here. Country Club. Lake Forest Country Club. So maybe it's called Lake Club? There's a nice one. There's a lot of houses around here with nice cars. I've seen a couple Ferraris back here and that monstrosity, big dirty, and uh, plenty of beamers. There's the lake. And there's Hudson Cable TV. And they're a real piece of work of a car. <laughs> Well guys, it is very foggy. It's about 9.12 now. I am en route downtown to get gas, actually. I've just got about a quarter of a tank, and um, I'm gonna need it for tomorrow and the weekend, so I'm gonna get it now. I might be driving to my dad to the airport tomorrow. I don't know. He's gonna call tonight sometime and let me know for sure. But uh, he and the guys are going skiing out west for a week, and uh, they're actually gonna fly out of Akron Canton instead of Cleveland. I guess they got cheaper flights or something, so. You may need to ride there tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna go fill up, so I'll talk to you at the uh, filling station. All right, Shaky the camera guy back on the job. It's 40 degrees, I don't have a jacket, I'm just standing out here. Looks like it's uh, 359 for uh, 93 octane, and um, I would guess we're gonna use about 14 gallons, so we'll see. Uh, looks like about, uh, about uh, just under 14 gallons, just what I guessed. So here's that radio that I said I was going to mention in a vlog. Uh, I just watched your video, um, Old Time 40s. I'll leave your link down below. It's Old Time and then 40 spelled out. It's got some pretty cool videos of old um, vintage technology. But I don't know what this is and where it's from. There are no markings on the back aside from Made in Japan. So I don't know if it's something from the 70s, 80s, 90s. I have no idea. As you can hear, something is very loose inside. But there's a screw right there that I could probably pull the top of that off and fix it. There's not a battery in it, and I don't have a 9 volt here. But uh, if you turn that on, that's your uh, power and volume knob. And then this is the uh, tuner for FM. I don't actually know what that means. 16, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5.4. I don't get that. But it does work if I put a battery in it, and it's kind of falling apart. But uh, this is all metal. and. That's what it looks like. That the speaker's back there. You can hear it rattling. That's where the battery goes, and the wheels actually move too. So maybe I'll put a battery in it sometime. Figure out what's rattling in there, and uh, we'll see if it still works. So one of the two things that I ordered for the car, I don't know, last Friday, Saturday night, showed up today. It's installed in the car, and except you can't really see it. I had to hide it away until I get the other piece that's coming, the trim piece for it, uh, which I e I emailed the seller. He said, what the heck, you, you know, I put this order five days ago, it hasn't shipped yet. He came back, said he shipped it today, I'll have it next Wednesday or Thursday. So I'll have an a, a install video on an E39 source and you'll see it in the vlog. It's not a big deal, but I've always wanted to get it for the car and I will next week. So I'm just sitting here talking to Bobby and uh, I think we're going to, or he's booting into his Windows partition on his Mac and we're going to do some chess. So I should open up my chess game here in Coherence and uh, we'll play a little bit of Chest Titan. Oh yeah, and I talked to my dad, and I do not have to pick him up and go to the airport tomorrow, so I guess that's good. Uh, for me, Ken and I have some plans, and look at this. With Windows 7, I get that Vista boot screen. You can see how fast this boots on this computer, um, and it's not even on the SSD. I have it installed on the 7200 RPM drive instead of the solid state drive. And I absolutely love coherence mode, or not coherence mode in particular, but uh, parallels for the Mac, because it really looks like I am running just Windows in 1080p and it's beautiful and the graphics are good. And if I come over here, and I think I tweeted about this, this is in a virtual machine. I gave it two cores of the processor and I gave it, well this is 32-bit, so I gave it 3 gigs of RAM, it's using 2.75, thought I gave it more. Uh, at one point I actually gave it 8, but since it's 32 it's only going to use 2.75. And look at this rating, it's a 5.5 in a virtual machine running the OS off a, off a 7200 RPM drive, which got the highest score of 7.9. Uh, 
Uh, both graphics are 6.0. The RAM's a 5.5, probably because it's 32-bit. And then the processor's a 7.4. So that is really good specs or ratings here for a VM. I hope I don't sound too disgusting. I'm eating a Jolly Rancher. So that's what the noise is. So just like this, we can go from um, Windows to Mac and everything is lovely. So thank you very much again, Brad, for um, Parallels. It's great to be able to do that. Okay, it is 10.30. I want to get this up, get this together. I want to go to bed a little bit earlier tomorrow. Tomorrow's a shortened schedule. Instead of getting out at 2.05, I'm out at 1.45, so there's 20 minutes. That's cool. So uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Friday already. This week has just blasted by, which is awesome. And I cannot believe it is January 26th. Look at this. In a week, we're looking at February 2nd already. And that's great, because January is a terrible month. So, talk to you guys in the morning on 4.11. Thanks for watching. Good night.